Hey there, so I wanted to do a bit of a post uh, a couple months ago on my, uh, to give you guys some details because you'd asked for some details on how I was healing from um, getting my internal body temperature back up and the reason I had a low body temperature was um, from years and years of training dieting and getting ready for shows just had taken a toll on my system and my metabolism had just slowed to almost next to nothing to the point that I was eating uh, anywhere from 1200 to 1400 calories a day and if you're not a calorie counter that's pretty low <laughs> um, and I was not able to even maintain at that I was gaining weight on 1200 to 1400 calories a day um, and working out about two hours a day so Things had gotten pretty serious and gotten to the point where I threw my hands up and I knew I had to get help. So um, I started looking for some answers and um, of course that led to me going to my family doctor who, I mean, bless their souls, they have to think of, keep so much information in their heads, but really they had no idea what I was coming to them with. Um, so my family doctor referred me on to an obgyne who again didn't know anything that I was going through and They referred me on to an infertility specialist to see what was going on um, so The infertility specialist also was an endocrinologist Which is a specialist that um, Specializes in hormones to kind of see what was going on with um, me because I wasn't getting cycles anymore It'd been about two years since I'd had a cycle which I know sounds crazy, but um, when you're not thinking about having children, you really could care less that you have any cycles. In fact, it's kind of a blessing. Um, and I was just kind of training, going about my business, and didn't really think anything of um, not having my cycles. Um, except after two years, you start to get a little bit worried and you start to think, okay, I should probably be having at least one by this point. There's gotta be something wrong with me. So I started doing some of my own research because really um, the endocrinologist was helpful um, but the, a lot of the diagnostic tests that they were doing, um, things were coming back that there was no issues with me. Um, my hormones were a little bit low, my estrogen was a little low, testosterone was a little bit high which they could attribute to just my training um, and so they kind of shrugged me off and they were like, oh there's nothing wrong with you. Um, they did diagnose me with polycystic ovarian syndrome, which um, they found from an ultrasound uh, looking at my ovaries. So you could see a whole bunch of follicles in my ovaries. And um, I'll get to what was causing that later, but um, basically they said, you have PCOS, that's what's wrong with you. Um, the only reason we know that is because of the ultrasound. Otherwise you have no signs of PCOS, um, which are usually like facial hair, which I didn't have, gaining weight, which I did have, but not to the extent that you would have with PCOS. Um, and um, some other diagnostic factors like skin tags. Um, having really frequent periods is also a sign of PCOS. Anyways, um, so I was just not, I was just not showing what someone that typically have P has PCOS might show, which, um, which, I mean, I did, I guess, have PCOS just by looking at my ovaries. Anyways, um, with a bit more research of my own, I kind of came across um, some food and fitness blogs online where girls were just by the masses shouting out symptoms and things that were happening to them in their lives that were identical to what was going on with me. And the similarity between the girls' blogs that I was reading and the and my lifestyle was we were all eating to maintain fit, lean bodies. So we were, main, we were eating, you know, sub maintenance calories for our bodies. Low fat, um, you know, healthy fats at time, but still on the lower fat side, low carb, high protein, and um, exercising quite a bit. So a lot of these girls were exercising, and myself included, um, you know, one to two hours a day. And this had become our lifestyle for so many years that it, nothing seemed different to us. And all of us were not having our cycles. So obviously there's a light bulb going off here. We're like, okay, 
So my lifestyle matches up completely to theirs and I don't get any periods. They don't get any periods. So there's got to be something going on that we do in our lifestyle that's causing this. So when it comes down to it, what we have and what causes our cycles to shut off is um, it's called hypothalamic amenorrhea. So hypothalamic amenorrhea is basically the hypothalamus in your brain turns off because you have a lack of nutrients, lack of calories, lack of macronutrients, and too much exercise. So the reason I knew I had this was um, my hair was breaking off. I was trying to grow my hair out. It was stuck at about this length um, and it would just continually be breaking off. My nails were breaking off. I looked just really unhealthy. And yeah, I was lean and fit and I my body looked great and people wanted to look like me and and have the willpower and exercise like me and all this stuff. And what they didn't know was on the inside, I was not healthy. And that's why I'm making this video today is to talk to you and talk to girls that might also be doing this and just reach out and say, what you think that you're doing is healthy is actually pushing that that teeter-totter just that little bit further to the point of unhealthy. You really can take exercise and food and make it obsessive to the point that it's unhealthy for your body. So um, what was happening to me was I started taking my basal body temperature to see if I could track if my body was even ovulating and my body temperature was 35 degrees and I don't know if you know what a normal body temperature is supposed to be but a normal person sits between 36 and a half and 37 and a half degrees so I was walking around in this just cold state all the time my metabolism was shot um, like I said my hair was breaking off my nails were breaking off um, what else was I having M my mood was really off um, yeah, and I just I just knew I wasn't myself. I didn't feel healthy. Um, so I started um, basically after I, I heard about this, I started researching how to recover from hypothalamic amenorrhea. And the quick and dirty solution is to just redo what you're re kind of like undo what you're doing that's bad for your body. So um, you need to add in calories, you need to add in nutrients, and you need to cut back on exercise. So at first I started just, I just completely took out my weight training, which was really hard for me to do. Um, I had many, many weeks where I got back in the gym and then I had to stop myself and go, no, I'm not supposed to be here. Um, and eventually I did peter off of weight training, which puts a lot of stress on your body. It introduces a lot of hormones into your body that your, your body is not used to, like cortisol um, and testosterone for women. And don't get me wrong, strength training is very, very good for the body, but taking it to extremes is definitely going to mess up hormones. Um, and then I cut out cardio completely. I was going for walks every other day and I was doing some really nice light yoga at home or doing some hot yoga at the studio. Um, and I started that at the beginning of October and, um, honestly, I saw results right away. My skin started brightening up. My hair started getting healthier, shinier, less brittle. Same with my nails. My body temperature was slowly, slowly rising. And, um, and in, in October I actually did luckily ovulate and have a period. So I was having success and, um, it was all from just doing too much. Take, I, I was thought I was living a healthy lifestyle and I was just taking things to the extreme. Um, so now I, what I really want to do is urge women specifically that you need to listen to your body. Having your period is a, is a normal part of being a woman and nothing should take that away from you. And if you do start having issues with your period, that's a sign from your body that something in your body is not in alignment and it needs balanced. So you need to listen to those cues, unlike me, ignoring them for three, two to three years. And you have to focus on reducing your exercise, taking it easy, 
maybe just doing some light yoga, going for some really light walks. And I mean light walks, not brisk walking. Um, anything to make your body not go into fight mode. You want it to go into that nice, calm, stress-free mode where your body can just be in its homeostasis and you can have normal cycles um, instead of living in a constant fight stage where it's just trying to survive. Your body's just trying to survive. Um, so reduce the exercise, up the calories, specifically healthy fats. One of the biggest things I did was start to incorporate I was already eating healthy fats like peanut butter and almond butter and almonds, lots of nuts and seeds. Um, but I went even, I added even more, added in dairy that was full fat. I added in um, f like flax oil to smoothies and, and more. I used to put a teaspoon in. I was adding a tablespoon, a tablespoon of coconut oil to, to, co to uh, stir fries. Um, things like this just to get... Um, more healthy fats in my body, which helps produce estrogen, which I needed to increase. So as a result of doing all this, within two, three weeks, I was seeing some major changes. And within six weeks, I had re raised my body temperature back up a full degree. Um, so if that is not a lesson learned, I don't know what is. Um, so if you're having any of these issues, um, please do reach out and talk to me. Um, this is really a short clip about what I've been through. Uh, I don't want to bore you with all the details, but if you are one of these people that are experiencing these things, please reach out. I'd love to chat with you, to network with you, let you know what I did to get my body back in alignment. Um, and happily now expecting a baby, which I never thought was possible after two years of having no cycles. I didn't know if I was going to even be able to conceive. So I am over the moon excited um, to be expecting my first baby. And um, if you're in this boat trying to conceive, just trying to get periods back, whatever, please know that your body has a set amount of exercise and food that it can handle. And if it's below the food that it wants, or it's above the exercise that it wants, things are going to shut down. So you got to listen to your body, listen to those cues, and please do reach out if you have any more questions. Okay, hope this helps. Talk soon. Bye.